Great to have your company with me today. This is Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. I'm using the colours set by the Stampin' Up! Colour Challenge over on Facebook and we are going to be using Petal Pink, Call Me Clover, So Saffron and Mint Macaron. I'll be using the Under My Umbrella stamp set and using Call Me Clover on some Shimmer White cardstock to stamp the boots. Now I grab out my blender pens to start colouring in this image and <laughs> After I start colouring in, I think, oh yes, I want a bit of shading of everything. And I think, what am I doing? I could be using my aqua pen for this because I'm using the Shimmer White cardstock, which takes water perfectly. So I grab out my aqua pen and use that instead, just taking the colour from the stamp and then deciding to take some more from my ink pad. Shading down one side of the boot, trying to make one side darker than the other. Now, because I've got this small strip I want to use up, I'm using the more closed umbrella image and managed to just squeeze it in on the end there. And I thought I'd go for the same colour theme, so I'm using Call Me Clover again to just stamp that image. Then going in with the aqua pen and again just highlighting the lines created by the stamp already to try and add some highlights to the image. So going back in and then you can create darker and lighter shades. So I wanted to create a colour wash in the background. So again, using the Shimmer White cardstock and the Aqua Pen. And I decided to start in the middle with the Mint Macaron. I was a little bit worried that I'd have a dark patch. But actually, because you're watering down the ink, you don't need to worry too much about um, a lighter and darker shade. So I do the colour wash up until a point because I know that I want to put some flowers at the bottom of the wash. So I'm heating up the heat heat gun, <laughs> I said the tool gun, the heat gun, um, just to get that dried off quickly so I can stamp over it. So not adding too many of these raindrops, I don't want it to look overcrowded and using that in the background. And then I wanted these highlighted a bit more, so I'm just picking up the colour again for my stamps just to colour these in, dabbing them with the Aqua Painter. Next I'm using this cool trick with the post-it note to hold on to my tiny bit of paper to try and slip it into my punch. Now I had too much card on the side so I'm just tearing that away and then trying again. Just taking your time to line that up and then just punch it out when it's ready. This is the joy of the matching punch and stamp set. So I fussy cut the boots out, they don't take too long because they're a nice easy shape. Now I had to stop filming and I've come back the next day and I've done my nails <laughs> and I've done them in the matching colour, I kind of call me clover colour. I know that I wanted to mask off some flowers because I wanted quite a lot along the bottom strip so I stamped this on a post-it note, fussy cut a couple of sheets out and then so these are ready to use on my project. So stamp the image cover it up with your cut out post-it note and then this means that you can stamp on top of it without the images cross contaminating if you like. <laughs> it's a posh word isn't it? <laughs> so there you go you can see me kind of building up the flower arrangement around the bit that we've masked. Just adding a few of the other flowers onto the scene as well. Just peeling away the post-it note and then this is already to then colour the flowers in. Again going in with the same technique with the aqua painter and I'm using my ink palettes um, from my stamps and decided to just very simply choose which flower is going to be which colours and stick with that. So the open flowers are using the so saffron and then these little kind of tulip type ones I'm using the petal pink. I wanted the soft look so I decided to stick with the mint macaron so that everything in the background was this nice soft palette colour. So I used black memento ink to stamp down the flowers in case you were interested because I didn't mention that. 
Grabbing a piece of black cardstock and prepping that with the embossing buddy and I'm going in with the Versamark ink which is that lovely clear sticky ink which is great to um, use the embossing powder on. Now here I actually stamp two images sometimes um, in the process of embossing it could go wrong so I just as I had space I decided to do two of the sentiments. Heating the back and the front because this just helps with the warping. I'm using the rectangle stitched framelets to cut out the sentiment and this fits nicely over the edge. So um, I'm just using it to create it, the stitching on the three edges because it will sit off to the side as I'm showing you now. I just needed to trim that down a little bit to fit better onto the card. I decided I would like to add some vellum on my card so I'm just measuring this up so that I've got a gap at the top and the bottom to fold around the card. So it's about six inches and then cutting it down to one and a half inches to fit across the page. So lining this up and then just tucking around the vellum on the back side, you only need like a little tab and then on the bottom half as well. <laughs> I struggled to pick this up because I was trying to hold the card down with the vellum to keep it flat and then try and fold it round. Um, you can maybe crease this in it and put a score line in, but I just thought actually with folding it round by hand, you'd probably get a, a neater fold. Uh, uh, you know, the fold is closer to your card stock. So I'm using wet glue to stick that down and then I'm introducing some baker's twine. I'm bringing in the sentiment because I wanted to see where I wanted this knot. Would it look okay if I put it at the top corner? So just holding down the baker's twine and just simply creating a knot in it. Popping the sentiment up on dimensionals. And then I'm going to do the same with the other bits that are going to feature on the front being the umbrella and the welly boots too. I like the fact that the vellum separated the images. I'm putting a dab of glue and I've just, I've gone ahead and stamped the stick of the umbrella and cut it out with some paper and just lining that up, make sure I've got a straight handle. And then, like I said, popping those up on dimensionals. I put a bit of glue behind the umbrella because I was, that vellum was flapping about a bit. So I just wanted to secure that. I think because I've done the umbrella and boots in the Call Me Clover, I wanted to distinguish it from the black outline of the flowers. And it really worked well with the vellum. So again, just to incorporate a bit more black, because now that I've introduced this colour, I'm using my black stamping blend, hitting it over a block just to give me um, a stable surface and then this creates some splatters on the card as you can see. I was about to finish and then I decided I want to highlight some areas. So I'm using this Sig Signio, is it called? Let me just read the name. Signo, sorry, by Uniball. It's a white gel pen and I was a little bit scared because I'm like, mm, not quite entirely sure how I'm going to highlight these but and then I did a dot and there wasn't a space for dot on the other one so I decided to do dots on the bottom and then I thought oh usually the little toe might have a bit of a highlight for shiny boots and then I highlighted the umbrella using the existing colour work that I've laid down on the image already to just highlight the umbrella not too much but just create a few bits of shading on there and then just tucking a line I can't go all the way under the umbrella because it's already stuck down but just create that illusion of the highlight there it makes such a difference I was surprised it's like oh what else can I do what else can I do so I decided to just highlight around um, the raindrops and then once I started I thought oh, I'm gonna have to do the rest of them so anything that was outside of the vellum I've just highlighted on the left side like shiny raindrops I was tempted to add more onto the sentiment but I did stop Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my card for today's Stampin' Up! colour challenge. Please do join in with the challenge if you have the colours. Give me a big old fat thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and do comment below and let me know what you thought of today's card. Subscribe to my channel if you're not doing so already and I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are. Thank you very much and take care and God bless. These are just showing you the colours that I've used. Mint macaron, call me clover.
petal pink and so saffron. Take care. Bye for now.